In this video, we're going to set up a camera animating on a path. I have a simple target camera placed here in the scene, and I'm going to go to the Create Shapes level of my Creation tab here, and we'll just simply place a line in the scene. And my type right now is Corner Corner, so I may select to make that smooth or Bezier so I can modify this. And uh, we'll click and drag and place some sort of path here in the scene and right click to terminate. What I want to do is cause the camera to move along this path. Now, of course, the drawing of this path and the placement of this path in the scene needs to make sense for some set of geometries that we're trying to move through or some kind of environment we're trying to view. Is it necessary to have a, both a path for camera and target or for one or the other? No, it really depends on uh, what you're attempting to accomplish here. Uh, in this case, I'm going to animate the camera along the path and keyframe the target as a separate entity. To attach the camera to a path, I'll select camera and we'll go to the motion control tab and pull down to where we see parameters. What I'm going to affect here is the position of the camera in space. So I'll select position and then click on the assign controller button. Once I've done that, I'm going to find path constraint in my list of position controllers. I'll select OK. And next we want to add the path that we're going to constrain the camera to. We'll click on add path. We'll come out to our environment and click the line in question and we should see it shows up now inside our list. If we choose, we can always delete the path. And um, at present, what the line or path here corresponds to is the full duration of our timeline. This is automatically done by default. And so 100 frames here represents um, the full length of, of this. If we should scrub the Playback hit here, we'll notice that the camera at frame 0 is at the beginning and at frame 100 is at the end. You can compel the camera to move at different rates along the path by setting up keyframes. If I should turn on auto key, I can ask that the camera remains at frame at the beginning of the line until frame 10. If we move the playback head up till 10, I'll set the percent along path to 0. We'll notice now that nothing happens between frame 0 and frame 10. Maybe I'll quickly move halfway through the line by frame 30. We'll set the percent along path then to 50% approximately by frame 30. So we'll see rapid movement over those 20 frames. And then we'll see slow movement from there to the end because the last keyframe is at the very end. So if you want to change where the camera is at any point along this line, it could simply be accomplished by adjusting the percent along path relative to uh, where you want to be and the rest of the items in the scene. Of course, placing the target in reference to um, elements in the scene that you actually want to be looking at is also essential. Now you could easily draw a line that causes the eye to wander from one element in the scene to the next, or this might be something that you want to manually adjust as the um, camera moves for the environment. I'm going to select the target, and just to make the point here, we could say, uh, let's turn on auto key, and initially we want um, our target to be at this location. I'm going to right click on the time slider here, and we'll set up a position keyframe here at frame zero. Um, at some point in the future, let's say frame 30, uh, we want the target to be shifted to something else. We'll just simply click and drag that target to some other location. And then as the playback head moves forward, we might ask for the target to ultimately reside at some other spot once again, and uh, maybe it's back here near the beginning. We'll turn off auto key, and you should notice now that the target animates in its own fashion um, over the 100 frame animation. Now you could easily come in and uh, select the target and establish new keys 
and um, reposition the keys here in the timeline. But alternatively, we could reveal the path that the target follows and make adjustments to it. With the target selected, if we also come to the motion controller and select the trajectory button, we can reveal the actual path that the camera has followed. And by moving down into the sub-object level of the trajectory, we can get a hold of the items that comprise this trajectory and make adjustments to them. So alternatively, the same thing can be done with a camera. If you choose, you could keyframe a camera through space and then come in and reveal its trajectory and make adjustments to um, its place in space and time. Now one other aspect to this is once the camera has been assigned to a path, you can always, always pick up and move the path and reposition it elsewhere. And because the camera has been attached to that path, it will move with it wherever it happens to go.